Has it ever occurred to you that being barren, being desperate, might be a good thing? I was thinking about Hannah in the Old Testament. She was barren, she couldn't have children, and she was desperate for a child. So desperate, she was praying and muttering, and the, the priests, high priests, or, thought she was drunk, but she wasn't drunk. She knew God had given her a promise, and she was desperate in her barrenness. You might be desperate for God to show up. Have you ever thought about this? Okay, you're desperate. You may be barren in an area. You may be waiting for breakthrough. Think about God's promises. They're yes and amen in Christ. His promises are there not so that we'd strategize and figure out in ourselves or logical thinking. His promises are there because it gives us a chance to see him show up. Sometimes that's waiting. Sometimes it's co-laboring with him in that in our desperation, it's the one thing that moves us closer to him, to hear from him, and to call forth those things that are not as though they are. So you can be like Hannah, not be... Um, despondent or sad about your desperation, although she might have been, but to look, because see, this is the New Testament, Christ in us, the hope of glory, to look in the midst of our barrenness and our desperation, to look still for God's promises, still not to strive, but abide, to dwell, to rest, to wait, and to know he promises, he answers the yes of God is always there. Just a thought for you. If you're feeling a little, I don't know, the winter months, you know, can kind of make you feel barren. It's okay. Let it move you closer to God. And in the midst of your needs, you find a solution. And the solution is Christ in you, the hope of glory. You know, you're wonderful. You know, you're awesome. You know, he delights in you. Do you know that you mirror heaven. Think about that. You mirror heaven. What's in heaven? All the goodness of God. But the neat thing is it's an open heaven, so it's in you. You can walk in it daily. Just some thoughts that just have to get out because you are meant to live in the sweet spot, in the vine, by design going towards your destiny. That's why we like to talk to you. That's why we like, I like to share, listen to the vine dresser, because you're awesome, because you're a fruitful vine, because he calls you my beloved, my child. You can check that out at listentothevinedresser.com, and I guess you can wait for the next video, because I really do love you, and I really do appreciate getting to talk to you like this. More from Listen to the Vine Dresser. I offer it as a free devotional. Uh, as we get words to share with you like this, you can check it out at listentothevinedresser.com.